you'll no longer see an increased police presence on the TTC. The Toronto Police Service says it's putting an end to the program that was meant to tackle increasing reports of violence, including the fatal stabbing of a 31 year old woman in December here at High Park Station. So how do you feel about police ending their increased presence on the TTC? Well, I think it's a good thing because, for example, when I travel alone or when I travel with the children, I don't feel at ease because lots of uh, events have been happening, like we've been reading about. So I don't think it's a good thing they are pulling back, especially when you travel alone as a woman or with young children. Upwards of 80 additional officers a day, filled by police working overtime shifts, began patrolling the transit system in late January. TPS says the move resulted in 314 arrests and officers giving more than 220 referrals to people in need of social supports like shelter, food and mental health services. When you hear those statistics, is it an indication that the program worked? I think it's just more lip service to um, legitimize uh, the dollars that went into policing and that they um, were on the public transit. And the dollars are substantial. In a February city council meeting, the city manager warned that the police enhancement was costing approximately $1.7 million a month. And that wouldn't be sustainable past March 20th. For advocates with Jane Finch Action Against Poverty, that money was never a solution for safer transit. So instead of putting dollars into keeping our services, keeping our routes open, um, keeping our fares down, we allowed police on our services. And now look at where we are today, where, where they're pulling back, which I'm grateful for. We asked Toronto police why they were pulling back now, and we're told the modifications are a response to enhanced TTC safety measures. The TTC says these include 50 temporary security guards, community safety ambassadors, and street-to-homes outreach workers in partnership with the City of Toronto. And that's good enough for this local resident who says she frequently uses the TTC with her kids. We're pretty comfortable with it. Uh, We take the TTC all the time. It's really close to our house. I don't really think the increased police presence made much of a difference. Toronto police say officers will still be present within the transit system, responding to calls and emergencies as needed, and additional officers will be redeployed if that's deemed necessary. At High Park Station, Michelle Mackey, City News.